How do you do? I'm Steve Zanoni with Project Management Consultants. Uh, I'm your owner's rep for the Beechwood City Schools on the master planning for the elementary schools. Uh, we're here today to do a video tour of Bryden Elementary School. Uh, we're very excited about this. We're going to speak with some teachers who uh, are going to tell us about uh, what, how, they, how they operate within the school and how they provide such a great educational experience for our elementary students. We also have with us Brian Koss. Brian is the Director of Operations. He's going to tell us about some of the challenges and some of the unique features of the building. Uh, we're here in Annie Brickell's classroom. She's a first grade teacher. And Annie, can you tell us a little history about yourself and how long you've been here at the school? Well, I've been at Brighton Elementary School for, this is my 33rd year. It'll be my 32nd teaching first grade. Um, I started here pretty much fresh right out of right out of graduate school, actually. Um, I'm also a Beachwood graduate. Graduated in a class in 1983. And um, my dad was actually the very first PE teacher in this building. Wow, so you have a lot of history for I this do. building. And we wanna thank you for taking some time out to talk about it. Uh, before we went and looked at one of the kindergarten classrooms, which were built, well, about the time when you first came here, first came here, uh, which were much larger and provide, maybe you could just kind of comment, you know, those rooms are quite different from this room, which was built in 1956. So in the kindergarten classroom, um, that was actually the first grade wing about 31 years ago, they opened that, that section of the building up. And those rooms have a lot more usable space during the course of a school day um, for what education has become. We have this space there for children to work at table, tables separately in different areas of the room. The teacher could be off in the alcove teaching a reading station or, or working with students in a smaller group. And then they could also monitor the rest of the class in their um, different spaces. In our, in our classroom here, mm -hmm. we've got our rectangular space. Um, we've got some storage. Um, but really, the way that the Brighton has grown over the years, we have, we're pretty much bursting at the seams with students. And one of the things is because you have limitation of space, you actually lost classrooms. And we have, um, our music teacher is actually teaching. She, she has her office and stores her things in a hallway mm -hmm. between the, the main hallway and our lunchroom. So Mrs. McKenzie is very patient with us moving in and out of lunch and back and forth, but she has no classroom. She comes into our rooms, which limits what she's able to do with students because she can't take all of her equipment with mm -hmm. her. Well, Annie, I want to thank you for showing us your classroom. It really was and explaining what the challenges are that you have here. And uh, again, thank you for your time. And thank you for the opportunity to share. Hi, my name is Brian Koss. I'm the Director of Operations here at the Beachwood City Schools. I oversee the custodial and maintenance department in this uh, school district. And I'm standing in the boiler room of Bryden Elementary School. As you can see, I have a couple old boilers behind me. Um, you know, the maintenance staff does an excellent job maintaining them and have been doing an excellent job maintaining them. Uh, they're 60 plus years old and with, uh, with 60 plus year old equipment, uh, Pieces and parts are becoming increasingly hard to find. Uh, we still find them, but uh, we do always uh, run the risk of being a little afraid in the wintertime um, if we cannot locate a piece and a boiler goes down. The Brighton Elementary Gym. This gym is excellent for playing hoops, yoga, and even jump rope. However, as you can see behind me, we're utilizing our stage for storage. Um, several challenges we face throughout our elementary schools is finding storage and utilizing it to its fullest. 